good afternoon everybody we are discussing about simple machine in this we can discuss lever what is lever lever what is lever a lever is a rigid strap or bend bar which is capable of turning about a fixed axis you can explain a lever is a rigid straight or band bar is capable of turning about a fixed axis turning about a fixed axis in other word we can say the axis about which the lever turns passes through the point of the lever which is called fulcrum it is generally marked by a letter o f this point does not move but remain fixed when the lever is in use lever has three types in another word we can say lever divided in three parts or lever classified in three parts we can say the first is class 1 lever what is class 1 lever class 1 lever has its fulcrum located somewhere between the effort and the load we can explain a class 1 lever has its fulcrum has its fulcrum located somewhere between the effort and the load for example we can show in figure suppose that this is the rod this side of rod we can apply effort in the direction of this effort this shows the fulcrum and this is the load we can again say class 1 lever has its fulcrum located somewhere between the effort between the effort this is the effort of our fulcrum and this is the load we can say easily the locus uh, fulcrum located somewhere between the effort and load for example for example you can say a spoon to open lid hammer lift the load with bar screw pillar spare turning soil spear handle of water pump nail cutter crowbar scissor seesaw etc we can say this is the lever suppose that this is fulcrum effort side or this is the load example of hand pump example of hand pump this is the rod effort side fulcrum or this is the load side this is called the lever type of first first type lever now we are discussing about characteristics of class 1 lever characteristics of class 1 lever first is fulcrum is in between load and effort fulcrum is in between load and effort second is for class 1 lever for class 1 lever the mechanical advantage can have any value the the mechanical advantage can have any value either greater than one or equal to one or less than one This, this is the type of one lever class one lever 
now we are discussing about class 2 lever what is class 2 lever in simple word we can say load are placed between fulcrum and effort means load placed between effort and fulcrum uh, one end of lever is effort and one end of lever is fulcrum and between these load is placed now we are discussing about class 2 lever a lever the definition of class 2 lever is a lever in which the fulcrum is at one end in which the fulcrum is at one end the effort is at the other end and the load is in the middle is called class true lever we can say easily load is placed between effort and fulcrum the one end of lever is effort and one end of lever is fulcrum and the load placed between effort and fulcrum for example for example paper cutter bottle opener nut cracker a bar used to lift a load wheelbarrow a lemon crusher a screwdriver etc some of these are shown figure suppose a bar of the lift load suppose that this is the surface effort this is the load load this is the fulcrum and this, this is the load now we are discussing about characteristics of class 2 level characteristics of class 2 level first is same load is in between the effort and the fulcrum load is in between the effort and the fulcrum second is mechanical advantage is always more than one because because the effort arm is always longer than the road arm longer than the load arm now lever class 2 lever type completed now we are discussing about third class 3 lever the fulcrum is at one end and the effort is applied between the fulcrum and load in this lever the air uh, the load applied of one end and the fulcrum is at one end and the effort applied in between load and fulcrum for example we can show in definition the fulcrum is at one end and the the effort is applied between the fulcrum and the load the figure of this this is the effort arm fulcrum and load we can say effort is applied between load and fulcrum and uh, in lever 
load is at one end and fulcrum is at one end and effort is applied between load and fulc uh, load and fulcrum okay for example we can say example of uh, th class 3 lever is fishing rod tennis racket spread use of lift call sole sugar tongue knife broom first cap fire tongue hair plunger honey stick and many more example which you can explain class 3 lever for example sugar tongue Lord effort effort knife for example knife this is a surface effort fulcrum and lot now we are discussing about characteristics of class 3 lever first is effort is in between the fulcrum and lot effort is in between the fulcrum and the load again is second is mechanical advantage is less than one as the effort arm is always smaller always smaller than the load arm 